Hi there. I hope you're having a great day. I want to read for you Luke chapter 2 and from verse 8 to 14. Merry Christmas, by the way. And so the Bible says, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to what men. Hallelujah. This really is what Christmas is about. Christmas and the birth of Christ is what brought joy to this world, goodwill unto all people, unto all men. I know for a lot of people, Christmas might be a season where they become so afraid because it comes with some kind of, you know, with so much uncertainty, uncertainty for some people. But because of what the Bible says, fear is not supposed to be a part of what we go through as children of God when the season of Christmas comes. Because there are a lot of people who are thinking, oh, am I going to take care of my family? It comes with undue pressure. You're trying to meet up with what the season demands, the celebration and things like that. But fear is what the Bible says Jesus has come to take away. Fear not, because unto us a child is born who has brought great joy, great tidings, and heaven rejoiced for that birth of Christ, that they were going to send down a son who would liberate mankind from all its suffering. First John 3 and verse 8, the Bible says, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he would destroy the works of the devil. That's why Christ came. And that's why it should be a season of joy. So are you out there and you are so afraid, like the shepherds were so afraid, but the angel assured them, say, fear not. And that's why I'm trying to tell you this morning, for you not to be afraid, or if it's midnight or midday your time, whatever time it is you're tuning on to this channel, I'm trying to tell you this, fear not. I know the world right now is so, so, you know, filled with so much uncertainty. But the good news is, Christ came to die for you and I, is the only Savior who, when we lean on, there will be no need for fear. And so, I want to use this opportunity to ask you, are you really born again? Do you know this Savior that we're celebrating at this time, which is basically the essence of Christmas? And if you have not yet known Him, I would want to invite you to know Him. And if that is you out there listening to me, why don't you say this prayer with me? Say, Dear Father, come into my heart. Live with me today. Forgive me all of my sins. Write my name in the book of life and give me the grace to serve you till the end. My friend, if that is you, I say congratulations because you are indeed now born again. And you can now have a fulfilling Christmas because it will be remembered that it was on Christmas morning, as it were, that you actually said this beautiful prayer that would give you a transformed life. And I say to you, congratulations. And now you can go ahead and enjoy your Christmas. Do have you a beautiful Christmas. God bless you. Thank you.